Hi guys, uh, I'm Jardash, the head and core on Corona IT community. So I'm back with this uh, small basic tutorial on how to make your input pipelines. So, so when you are giving a task, when you are giving given a task, so you have to complete it in collab. So why we have to complete it in collab? Because uh, in collab, we can also collab with you. So we can collaborate, collaboratively uh, work on the code. Also, you can comment down if you have any issues. Mm, yeah and it's very easy to share you can directly share the url from here itself uh, somewhere yeah so someone you can share it from here itself and the collab will be shared with us so yeah that's why we are using collab so now the thing is oh, i'll explain you how to take input from any input text so what happens when you use input as input command that is uh, this command for inputting all those variables or those values which you want to put your algo on so this works but the thing is whenever you run every time this command it will you have to input it multiple times so it actually it's not a better way of testing out your code because every time you have you test you have to enter the uh, entire values so which rather suggest creating an input file so how to create an input file is very simple Okay, let's delete the file from there itself. Yeah, now we'll create an input file. So how to create is right click on the, uh, you have to open this, you have to open this folder icon, files icon. So you have to create a new file. It will ask for the file name. So you can put input.txt. So once you create, open, you, once you create this file, uh, you can edit it by double clicking it. It will open up in the right side. Now you can, you can write your own, I mean, like you can write your own arrays, 0 0.2, 12, 1, 12. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so how to use this input text is very simple. We'll be using open function so python has an inbuilt function which is known as open so how to open up is, is equal to uh, file resources open input.txt and we'll pass there what type of mode you want to use so we can use it written mode so we'll use that r or reading mode because we are not doing any writing function on that so we'll definitely use the reading mode and now we'll try to read read the lines for example right now we have only one line i'll create one more line so let's create one more line three and yeah and we'll create we'll create a results or the or the in all, all the data's data array inputs let's make it inputs input data array so what do we do we can do equal to file resources so what do we do file you to read uh, lines i hope this works or uh, the read lines it is like that so yeah, we'll do file resources read lines and when you run this command what it will do it will automatically open the input.txt file it will read the lines and it will generate an error for us now what we'll do we will remove first thing first if you check this input data array you'll find many things so you'll see it will have two strings because two lines are there so yeah so what we have to do is we have to remove this all things so we have to remove the backslash and or the new line command or we have to remove any kind of double quotations or if you are giving an array of only and only float so you have to remove double quotations or you have to remove these brackets and then split it out so it's very easy you just have to use this item dot 
i for item so item dot replace so first we have to replace the brackets or uh, just the new line and we'll replace it by nothing and then we'll use the same command we'll replace the other things uh, sorry so we'll use the same command we'll replace the other things like we'll be replacing the brackets yeah so that's what we'll replace and now what we'll do we'll uh, yeah once you replace those you can I mean split it out with comma so I will just split it out and now what we'll do we'll uh, go enter we'll uh, iterate through the entire this input data array so now what I'll do I'll run that and we'll check whether the input data array is properly done or not so input data array it's how it looks let me see yeah so if you can see the entire thing is already uh, splitted one major things which I have forgotten so the major thing that I have forgotten is we have to parse it as a float so before we split it out we'll keep it like that only so yeah so the issue is I have to run it once again before we split it out we, I have to keep it like that without splitting and now according to the demand I'll create my own functions or on, on variables for example I want the first line should be my uh, list and this last line will be second line that will be my maximum value or the reference value just for example say so what I'll do I'll just use it according to my demand so I'll remove this text yeah so what I'll do I will iterate through the entire list of s for i for i in s and what I'll do I'll use i and I'll pass it as a float now if you see s it will be the array of float but it is saying that cannot convert float it says that it cannot convert to float so why it can't convert to float Uh, 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 um, float to string. Okay, so why it can't convert to string because because it has not been split it out. So we have to split it up. So we have to split it out with uh, comma. So you can see here the string is not split it out. So before split it out, splitting it up, I have just used my float to parse it, which doesn't work. So now if we, if we use it, so it will work and we'll run this. So you'll see it's an array of all those float values. And for reference, it's it's not an array. So we won't have to split it out and just we can directly use the parsing command float and we can do reference. So you can see the reference directly converts into float yeah so that's how it works now if you have already written the sorting command or uh, sorting uh, algo so what you can do you can directly run it and check whether it works or not so yeah so that's how it works that's how the input you can create an input pipeline from an input of input text and then you can use it as a multiple cases so for my case it's like that you can create it for multiple case cases and you should know also 
how to iterate through this entire lists, entire uh, input array data, sorry, input data array, and then check all the cases. So it's just a for loop where you will iterate four times and check through this eight elements where the first element is your array and second element is the difference element and you can check your algo so that's how you can build your input pipeline so in the future uh, tutorial you have to build it like that so that it's very handy and instead of uh, sharing it in the email IDs, you can directly share the link uh, you can directly share the link with the mentors that is maybe me or other mentors who is allocated for these courses and let us know if you face any issues. So thank you.